All right. We ready? Ready. Ready. There's the probe cannon. Yep, there goes the probe. On its mission to find the eye of the universe. Mm -hmm. But it's odd, though. Oh. The, pr the one behind the observatory. All right, let's put our spacesuit on. Before we exit the, the spaceship on giant steep, we should review our ship log. Okay. The Addle Rock. The Addle Rock. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Do you want to go straight to the Giant Steep? Giant Steep. Okay. After that, maybe we can explore that odd place. But maybe. And that looked like another sun. I don't know. It looked like it was moving too fast. Small. It was moving really fast. It's hard to tell in space, huh? <laughs> maybe it's something really big, really, really far away, and maybe it's something really tiny, really close. <laughs> you just don't even know. Alright, there's the probe cannon all broken up. Something just got launched into the atmosphere. That looks like the bramble, right? With the ice. Mm -hmm. Going back down. Oh, that one just got launched into the air. Uh, that must be the islands picked up by the cyclones. Wow. <laughs> Giant oh, state. Hey. Ape. There's his ship. It's his ship. Should we go check it out? Yes. Let's check out Otis's ship. Okay. It looks a lot like ours, but a different hatch. Let's... Let's fly this back to his island. I don't think I can. Ooh, and my... Ooh. Jellyfish down there. I don't think I can. Well, it's just kind of floating out here. Let's tell Ogabro that we found his trap. Should we have our signal scope? Maybe it's making a signal. Nope. There. What? It, er, uh, uh. Gabro's out. He must be on the other side of the island over there. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Well. Let's just put that away. But we found his found a ship. Okay, let's go back to our ship before we get taken away. Let's tell Gabro we found ship. You wanna tell him? Or should we go try and do the other thing first? What should we do? Mm, first let's tell Gabro okay. we found his ship. Now forget to that this it, Oh yeah, this is his island. Oh. What's happening? Oh my goodness. We're in space. Oh my goodness. We got launched into space. Ah, what are we going to do? Here, hold on. Oh, e. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh. E. Oh. What's happening? We're underwater. We've okay. crashed back down. Okay. Oh, that was. A sat eclone picked us up. Oh no! Oh my goodness. That was scary. <sighs> a few loops ago, a cyclone came by and tossed my little island into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. What's up? I found your ship. Oh, cool! So it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. 
How do you stay so calm um, and, and stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Impending. Impending means it's going to happen. Impending death. Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Oh, look at that. The No My Mask! So we meditated. And the loop... So the meditation allows us to go to the next loop. That's cool. Check this out. Let's see. I'll bet if we doze off, it will help us move time forward too. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I wonder why at the beginning at the end of each time loop, the No My Mask appears. Uh, well, I think Gabbro said that he saw it too, and it's always his memories, right? It's our memories for the loop. Yeah. Do you I think that they might be recording them somewhere, maybe? I Let's go to the sun now. The sun? Yeah. Remember, I saw something orbiting. Orbiting it that wasn't the planet's. Right. You saw the station, right? Uh-huh. Let's, so let's go there. Uh, I can try, I suppose. We didn't go, we didn't do what we were trying to do. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> go to Giant Steep. <laughs> okay. And then, after we go into the statue workshop, we can explore the sun. Okay. Because I don't think we can land on the sun. I think that'd be a really bad idea. <laughs> No, we land on the station. Okay. Uh, well, that's the island we're trying to get to. Come on. I see Follow the... Follow it. And, uh, actually, there's an Omai landing pad. Let's follow it. Right? That is the island we're trying to get to, right? Yes, it's the one with the statue workshop. Oh no! <laughs> Suit fracture! I died! <laughs> we died! Oops! <laughs> I unbuckled instead of trying to sit. So I played, when I played it, I played with a controller, not the, not the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> so, that's funny. Don't worry, that doesn't count as a loop, funny. <laughs> We won't count that. And I'm not counting the meditation either. That was exciting. Oh, hey. What's that? The quantum moon! <laughs> Guess it decided to go over Giant's Deep this time. But no one was able to land on it. By the time we look away, it's gone. Here? Here. See? It's gone. <laughs> it, but, but you had an idea about that, right? Mm hmm. The reason we can't go there is because it moves before we can even land on it. Now, let's find that statue workshop island. This. This planet is crazy. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, you're right. There it is. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Quick! No. I think we're just going to have to wait until it comes back. <laughs> Ugh. The gnome. Well, I hope it doesn't land on us. <laughs> I'll die again. <laughs> Giant Steve. <laughs> There's the Nomian Island! <laughs> that was really, really close. <laughs> Buddy, you are right in my way. There we go. Now let's swim under the island. Okay. 
Let's see if we can find the entry, the second entrance. Then all my have cool landing pad, had cool landing pads. Okay, should we just jump in? Where should we go? Um, let's, let's jump in, okay. since the main door is broken. Huh? It is women. Good job. The statue workshop. We're inside. Yeah. There's That's the door, huh? Ooh. We opened it up. Now we can and enter the main entryway. We'll make it easier to go back and forth if we want to. No my statues. They're not opening their eyes, maybe because we already had a statue encounter. Well, it looks like they're not finished. There's one. Yoro, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue when pairing the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. The Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He, uh, he has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Ooh, memory storage. Oh. And where does it send it? The, the Ash Twin Project. Okay. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Oh, so that's what the mask was, the storage unit. Mm -hmm. A Nomai statue. So and that's- a Nomai. Oh, so they had white fur and an orange, orange skin. Yeah, they look kind of like goats, huh? So with antlers. Yeah. So <laughs> so that's there. what so that's what they looked like. So it's the Nomai, and then there's the statue, and it records it back to the mask. The it's one of those pads, huh? Hmm. I wonder what they do. Hmm. So. Oh, that's another one. Ooh, a projection stone. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Ooh. Otherwise, I imagine the whoop, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Oh. So, what do you think uh, activated the statues? I think an equipment fault. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Ooh, so the time loop has something to do with the Ash Twin project. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Oh, so... They're saying, oh, yeah, wouldn't it be awful if there was something wrong and it was the loop over and over again? Wouldn't that be awful if something and, went wrong? And then the Ash Twin project... It went wrong, and then, bam! Yeah, and now we are stuck in a time loop, huh? Oh. <gasps> There's our mask! 
Those are the two active ones, huh? Oh, and a third one. Oh my goodness, there's a third active one. Which one do you think is Gavro's? The second one. Whose is that then? The one who explored Giant Steep's core. You think so? You think he has a mask? Whoa. Yes. Remember the statue? It has its eyes open. Which statue? The one in the core of Giant Steep, remember? Was there one in the core of Giant Steep? Yes, I saw it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's exciting. Hmm. Well, we learned some interesting stuff here. Yeah. So, the Ashtrin project went wrong, and now we're stuck in a time loop. We have to fix it in order to stop it. I wonder. There's words up there. Last time we went to the Ember Twin, and the problem is in the Ash Twin. I wonder how they get those statues to open their eyes. I don't know. How are we supposed to get up there? Thrusters? Hmm. I can't. Uh oh, I hear a tornado. Cyclone! Three minutes of time. Oh my goodness. They allow us to stay. Hey. Yeah, they're keeping me safe. I'm not flying. Huh? So that's what they do. I guess we'll hang out here for a little while. Whoa! Uh, we're under the water. Oh, a few to put us down. Goodness. So that's what they're for. Yeah. How? Get up there. Hmm. Do you think? Maybe something will open up later. You know how some of the other stuff, when uh, the planets and everything start to deteriorate, like at the at the other planet, how things shifted and moved. Maybe we can get up there later after some time has gone by in the loop. Oh, I still have the stone. <laughs> the three. Okay. Every memory recorded by Onomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Zoom. This island must be where Anomai created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. And the statue workshop right there. Nomai statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart. Which would then, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. So, since it failed, it got us stuck in this time. So the failure is what got us stuck in this time loop in the first place. <laughs> You're totally right. So, oh, the statue. So the time loop is like, it's the problem, and 
the awareness of the time loop makes us aware of the problem. You're right. Of course. Of course. If we fix the Ash Twin Project, the, the time loop will stop, and then... And then what? And then... And, and then we'll die? For hmm? real? I don't... Because what is... What's the matter with... Why do we die every time? Why is there a, a loop? <laughs> the sun explodes, right? Oh yeah! So, oh, it's in danger of exploding. Uh, yep, okay, we've already... Yeah. See, look. We should be able to get up there. Place? It looks like it. Yeah, interesting. I just didn't even realize that I had gone up there. Okay. Well, I'm frustrated. How do you work Because I want to get up there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I can't. Yeah, I can't. Oh, you know what? What? Maybe we have to wait until we're like tossed into the air. What do you think? Maybe. Let's go. Whoa. Now. Ooh. Ooh. Now, quick, and there. We're floating! <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, we'll wait. Sploosh! Okay. I'm curious. Is sending a being- Whoa. You gotta- You can't- <laughs> You can't move like that on my lap. I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence? I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Interesting. And, and the end is the sun exploding. Ah. Wonder if there's another scroll to insert, but I don't know. Okay. Well. Now we know what caused the time loop in the first place. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go back to our ship, right? Mm hmm. Before this crazy planet. And it picks us up again. Okay. Well, how. Do you want to see? Because Gabbro talked about a couple different islands. Okay. Do you want to see if we can find the rest of them? I think we found most of them. Okay, we found Gabro's eye. Then another one. We'll quickly come up here and check this out because I thought I saw writing on that wall. Yep. I guess we'll have to go around this way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Whoa. Storms. This is... It's glowing. It must be active to something. Let's oh. just read the tasks. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. 
I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in the workshop below, inside the island. Interesting. Well, it's activated, huh? So the bot, they must already be in the beef. It, the, the bot. I wonder what the bot really is. There's the Bramley Island. Yeah, we've been there. There's the ship. Oh crap, I did it again. <laughs> it's a good thing you buckled up in time. Uh huh. Whee! Hail! Hey, that's. Ooh! Ooh! It's that John Steepit that was projected! Uh huh. This looks like some sort of shipyard. You're right, it kind of does, doesn't it? What is happening? <laughs> Oof, what is going on? <laughs> I think I'm gravity pulled. Okay, <laughs> so this is a gravity bit. Oof. Ooh, the control module. Because remember, this is what we set, we saw, right? From the control module. I have bad news. Avon Zero says there is a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Okay, so we already read this. Do you remember this one? When they were talking about they can't make it, they can't make it work. Yeah, but someone didn't listen. 17 minutes, zero seconds ago, long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Uh-oh, 17 minutes ago. We're running out of time in this loop. There's the probe cannon. So this is the construction yard. This is where they made it. Ah. So this is the giant state construction yard. Living trees. Yeah, nice. So that made my oxygen come up. Oh, look, a staircase. Wonder where this leads. Oh, this is where I could have parked my ship. <laughs> but I did it. I got it stuck on the thing. Well, <laughs> at least we found out where that thing was built. Ooh, there's a scroll. Insert it. And that's the orbital probe cannon. A hologram. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to us to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at Construction Yard, uh, I uh, my gratitude for your tireless work. I've given up hope, but truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If ever have as gooey as Malo and Avens have behaved together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> if I know my brother Avens and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Malo a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. And was he right? Did it break? Uh huh. Yep. Had way too much power. Bonk. It, it's kablooied under the pressure. It did. Whee! <laughs> Walking upside down. This construction yard is cool. Ooh, something over there. I saw something. Oof. See? A brittle hollow projection stone. 
Let's bring it to the projection place. Okay, is there anything I'm missing? Maybe not? Doesn't look like it. Well, we sure are learning a lot. Yes, we are. And we even learned how this time loop even started. Hmm? Huh? With a malfunction of the Ash Twin project. Oof. Oh, hey. Bottles of spike of cyclones. This must be the northern settlement they talked about. I think you're probably right. We haven't been there yet. But it looks like it has information about the tornadoes. Let's... Let's see. I'm stuck. <laughs> I, can I crouch? I don't remember. Do you remember how I can crouch? I... I don't know. Uh. Oh, look! <laughs> Meditate until next loop! Do you want to? Yes. Okay. So we can- We're almost done with our loop. Oof! Our loop anyway. You just hit me right in the chin. Sorry! Ah! Our mask. Yeah. It's sending us our memories back before we wake up. Because that's what they said it would do, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not that we're sending our memories to it, it's sending our memories back to us. And then we wake up. Interesting. I didn't see the probe. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it, it, it was, was facing backwards. It, it launched perfectly away from us. Okay, so what is it that you want to do with this loop? Let's explore this northern settlement on Riddle Hollow. Okay, we can do Riddle Hollow. After all, we didn't... It is unfinished. Let's read it! This island is where the Nomai built the orbital probe cannon. For some reason, the Nomai put the orbital probe cannon in an indefinite hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to a Nomai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. It says there's more to explore. Ah! <laughs> okay, but you want... To explore the, this northern settlement. Okay. So, Riddle Hollow, let's... Now the Ash and Ember Twin. Northern Glacier, it's the Southern Observatory, right? I, um, they, they said about a Northern Settlement. Well, that's the Northern Glacier, but you can see that it's all broken up on the top there. This is all broken, mm. so I don't... I don't think. Oh, northern settlement. Migrate old settlement to the northern glacier. Used gravity crystals to craft a stable path beneath the surface. So it might take us a little bit to get where we needed to go. So we might have to go like straight there and then try to find before it all breaks apart, right? Yep, because Riddle Hollow is slowly breaking apart. Okay. Sometimes Quantum Moon is at Brittle Hollow, and other times it's at Giant Steep. It is Brittle Hollow, and over there is Hollow Lantern, which <laughs> is shooting fireballs at it. Yep, that was a pretty dangerous, pretty dangerous thing. And a pretty dangerous mode. Rumbling Brittle Hollow. Ooh. We haven't saw seen that uh, before. Yeah, we did. That's the escape pod. Oh, yeah. The settlement. The old settlement. 
Better. I think we can take our ship in. Let's see. Make sure not to go through the black hole. Oh. Ooh, it really wants me to. Uh. The surface is crumbling up. Ooh. Something over there. <laughs> hey, it's the thing we never explored. Okay. You wanna eat? Ah. Let's explore it. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that's <laughs> it's trying to move. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Okay. All right. I think Okay, Brutal Hollow. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Let's repair. Think. Okay. Um. See, but now I'm stuck. Oop. <laughs> We're gonna have to move it. If I can. Oh, there we go. Ooh! And it looks like there's a landing pad right there. <laughs> okay. How are we gonna do this? There we go. Okay. Got it out. Now let's go. Ooh. The interloper. Uh-huh. But we're exploring Brittle Hollow here, right now. Maybe we'll get up here. Hey, this kind of looks like the orbital probe it cannon. It does kind of. Sorry, this is really difficult for me because I played with the controller. I don't even remember how to get... Oh, there's the landing camera. Okay. That's better. Okay. Easy does it. Okay. Uh, try to get <laughs> on the landing pad. There, I think we did it. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. At least we're not. Okay. Look, look at that. Perfect landing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it took me a little bit. Okay. Let's read this. Ooh. Southern Observatory. So this is the south. This is the southern settlement. Let's explore here. The crossroads. And no, my computer. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Quantum moon? They so they did figure out how to go there. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. What do you want to do? Um, let's see. Uh, what is it? Um, Which one? Gravity cannon, maybe. Whoa! <laughs> there goes the ship. <laughs> Deactivate! It's, well, it's too late. It's already activated. It already made <laughs> the quantum moon. You're right. There it is. Let's try. I don't think it made it. it didn't make it. The oh. shuttle. I know, man. Shuttle. That's our ticket home. You think so? Uh, let's see what the gnome I had. <laughs> <laughs> well, our ship is gone, but it doesn't matter, does it? Because we're just gonna die. Well, let's explore inside this gnome in shuttle okay, thing. Yeah, we called it back. It was on the quantum moon. We called it back. Okay, there we go. Oh. I am here. Somebody called Solanum. I'm here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. Huh. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. 
Now though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Ooh. Okay, so it seems like the quantum moon, if you go to the quantum moon, you'll always be on... The South Pole. The South Pole. Uh-oh. We don't know what these controls do. The left one last time made it go, right? Down, down there. Made it go. What do you think middle does? I... Nothing, apparently. Maybe it's reverse. Whoop! Yep, okay. Whoa. What just happened? We warped, I think. Where did... Oh, it looks like we're back. Are we back where we were? Uh. Huh? Apparently that sends us back. Okay. Wow. Well. Okay, that was exciting. No, me and Shuttles, those are pretty, pretty big, but problem is we don't have our ship. Yep, we're stuck here, but that's okay. Because we have to explore anyway. This is the crossroads. Wow. Let's go to the Southern Observatory. We did. That's where we were. Ooh! We're on the surface. Ooh. Hmm. A sick. Another brittle hollow projection. Oh. Where are we? Maybe this is the northern settlement. Well, it looks like a tower, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, a tower. Maybe we can oh. use Tsunami and shuttle and, uh, uh, to find our ship. This is Solanum. I am at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ooh. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. So we have to go to the crossroads in order to get up the tower. <laughs> There's so much. Mm hmm So much. Yeah! Now we know that they've, they've successfully landed on the quantum moon, unlike the Timber Harthians did. The Timber Harthians were unsuccessful in doing this. You're right. I wonder how they did it. Well, let's go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge then. Well, I'm trying to figure that out, buddy. Whoop! Come on. Uh, we gotta, gotta get there. Over there? Mm, to the crossroads. Mm hmm. Let's see. This is the crossroads. Okay, the crossroads. To the Tower of Cron. Quantum knowledge, and we have to go west. Hmm. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> this is a problem. Oof. Ow. Looks like the tower. Maybe. The tower of quantum. Hmm, it looks like there used to be bridges here. But there aren't anymore. Okay.
but there's a big bridge. We're so close to it. Ooh! Oh, it looks like it's broken. Whatever it is. And there is a ball thingy. I wonder what happens when we activate it. So that activates it. Okay, that's down. Okay. We need to go up. Do we though? Ooh, the bridge. Maybe the entrance is at the bridge. Unidentified signal nearby. Oh, oops. <laughs> signal scope! <laughs> okay. Gabro. That's Gabro. Okay. It's right below us. What's this? Do I you think it's a map? I think so. So that's, that looks like the tower. Okay. And then that's the southern observatory. That's the northern. That's, that's the, the cannon. Let's go over there. The Hanging City. Let's go over there because that's where the Tower of. Qu yes, but do you not want to figure out what that is? It's only 48 meters away. Okay, let's find out. And then the gravity cannons that way. Look, there are gravity crystals. Okay. The no, my certainly. They were doing. They were super smart. There he is. Right back. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow. I guess that means you've been. I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brutal Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it right. I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck. I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into... What's below? I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... Yeah... I learned something! Oh, cool! Um, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow! So then, the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. What kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Should we tell them what else we've learned? I saw the old sediment. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timberhearth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomai City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city? And I had no idea it existed. This is great! How did they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves in the awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai sure were ingenious building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow! That means there are two groups of Nomai. One that lived on Ember Twin, and one that lived here on Bertel Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system, since Nomai riding can be found on other planets, too. <coughs> Actually, never mind. Oh, okay. If you find... If you find if you do find learn something new <laughs> hmm if you do find learn something new <laughs> then oh my though i'd love to hear it um if you don't mind i mean 
Where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the hole. Oh, that was there. No. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. It's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it underneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learned anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not so much trouble. What are you? See you later. All right. That was weird. What was that? That was weird. Okay. Where do you want to go? This goes to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I would like to go there. There. Now we could go there. Meow. The tower. The tower of quantum knowledge. <gasps> Something hit us. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Something hit us in the head and knocked us off course. Ooh, wonder what that is. I think we've been there already, haven't we? Oh yeah, it's like, I don't see a white hole. The white hole's over there. We came out of it. Oh, there it is. So this is White Hole Station. Yes, this is White Hole Station. You want to try and get back? Sure. Actually, let's go to the Emperor. The interloper? Okay. It's six kilometers out. It's pretty far away, but we'll see. I mean, there's nothing to lose, huh? Because we're going to die anyway. <laughs> That interloper is sure hard to get to. Mm -hmm. But we're heading closer. And closer. I think we're gonna make it. I shouldn't have activated the gravity cannon. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Whoa. Here we are. The interloper. Whoa, whoa, wah! It's slippy slidey. <laughs> because it's it's basically a dirty snowball. <laughs> yes, you are correct. It's basically a dirty snowball. <laughs> Let's see. What? Whoa. We're getting... Ah! The interloper is hard to get around on. Okay. Oh. A no my something. It looks like another shuttle. Yeah, it looks like it. This is troublesome. Seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Oh, well, looks like that happened, huh? Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes. But the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. So... Oh, some no my? Looks like they were wondering what was here. Hmm. Let's. It's meditated till the next loop, so. Oh. The ship! Are. The. It's still way over there. Still 13 kilometers away. The interloper goes pretty quick. Oh, look. What? That was a weird glow. Did you see that weird glow? We're gonna run out of let's, fuel. Let's meditate until the next loop. You want to? 
I kind of, I'm enjoying seeing where it's going. I think we're getting closer to the sun. Whoa. Oh. Dark Bramble! That's a scary looking place, isn't it? Yeah. So, oh, prefer to venture there last. <laughs> Phew, critical! Okay, do you want to meditate? Sure. Okay, well that's the end, okay? If we meditate, then we're done, because that would be two cycles, okay? Okay. All right. That's nice that we can meditate now, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> we can just be like, okay, we don't want to be stuck anymore. Let's just meditate. And, and there's that no my mask that we're connected to. Yeah. I think the third one is the one that they did in the workshop, right? Because another mask was ac activated. Uh, hold on. Wait. Wait, wait. What? If the no mine died... Aid. And, and I think that no mine might be still alive. I don't know about that. It seems like they all died a really long time ago before the loop started, right? Don't you think he died before it got activated? Let's review our ship log. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see. Where should we go first? Up here? Mm-hmm. Quantum Moon, Solanum Shuttle. A Nomai named Solanum landed her shuttle at the Quantum Moon's South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. The Nomai on Brittle Hubble, we already know this. A uh, Nomai named Solanum landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. A Nomai named Solanum was told to visit the Tower of Quantum Moon on Brittle Hollow's equator to learn one final rule before embarking on her pilgrimage to the quantum moon. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. I recall the Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. We also shot our own <laughs> ship. There's more to explore at Whitehall Station. More to explore at the mines. Hanging City. There's a huge Nomai City just to the north of Rybeck's campsite. I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. There were three Nomai on board the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm while the other two explored the interloper. The Nomai shuttle that's frozen on the interloper can be called home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. So maybe we'll learn something more if we get that. Ryback has set up camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at being surrounded by so much Nomai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. Ryback says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Okay, I think that's all the exclamation points. I think we are done for the night. What do you think? That was super. At least, and we got a glimpse of Dark Bramble. Yeah, we did. That looks pretty scary, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh. I saw but it. I'm not, but that, the Nomai's original ship and one of the escape pods is trapped in there. Yeah. And we have to go in there sometime, huh? Uh-huh. And plus, one of the Outer Wilds adventurers might be there, too. Yeah, we learned lots of fun stuff today. What do you say to everybody for watching? Thanks. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.